I'm Father Gray, and this is a St. Mary's Sunday. This weekend, our Lord gives us a parable about mercy. Let us listen to it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, Hear another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, and built a tower. Then he leased it to tenants and went on a journey. When vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the tenants to obtain his produce. But the tenants seized the servants, and one they beat, another they killed, and a third they stoned. Again, he sent other servants more numerous than the first ones, but they treated them in the same way. Finally, he sent his son to them, thinking, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to one another, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and acquire his inheritance. They seized him, threw out him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What will the owner of the vineyard do to those tenants when he comes? They answered him, He will put those wretched men to a wretched death and lease his vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce at the proper times. Jesus said to them, did you never read in the scriptures? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done, and it is wonderful in our eyes. Therefore I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that will produce its fruit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, it is a warning, but what a parable that teaches us so much about mercy. We can easily see who the characters are in this parable. The landowner, whose vineyard it is, is God. Those servants of his are like his prophets, who are mistreated. And finally, his son, he's speaking about himself now. We fit into this as well, though, not as the tenants, but also, in a way, like those tenants because we are also experiencing those good fruits, those benefits of being in the Lord's vineyard. And what do we do with them? Well, hopefully we are generous with them, taking from the generativity that the Lord has already put into the vineyard and sharing that with others. At the same time, we are also the fruit of this vineyard. So much more so is it dear to us because we are fully involved in it, God's grace fully involved in us. That which is in front of us, these great gifts that we have, like our faith, like the gospel, like our ability to practice our faith, are things which are, just like everything else, great gifts from God. Even the sunlight, even the changing of the seasons, these things are beautiful and are gifts. Now, as those people in the vineyard, and as the fruit of the vineyard itself, how do we treat it? Are we generous, or are we craven, like these servants in the vineyard who just want to keep it for themselves? Likewise, are we kind, or are we mean? It really is, in a way, that simple. But here's the point of it. Do we allow that generosity from God to flow through us to others? Or do we let it stop with us? We know that we must be good and kind and all of these things, but it's the mercy of the Lord, which is actually what we are sharing. It's our Lord's grace that he gives us that we also give to others. We are very much a part of this, and it's not for nothing that a vineyard is made of many vines, things that connect, things that intertwine. Our life must be generous and kind, especially at those moments when we do not expect that we must need be that way. Our generosity is something that comes from God, and yes, it is his mercy, because the mercy of God is not just at a moment. It is, but it's also all the other times and all the other ways that we may not be able to understand or really see clearly. So let us be generous and kind and let God's mercy flow through us. This is our life as Christians. This is our life.
as members of this vine. 